Okay, well, the main theme is that I don't think the two are inimical. I think they're different. So precision or precise is sort of a process by which you do something meticulously and exactly. Personal means it's, it's really related to an individual, and an individual is complex. So something can be precise, that is exact, and also be personal. I don't think they're separate uh, problems. This was a little bit started by Francis Collins, who was the director of the National Institute of Health in the United States, and Harold Varmus, who was a poet laureate. And they tried to define precision medicine as mostly related to genetics because of the genome. So um, actually, the director, Collins, is a geneticist. And my point is basically that there's more to people than genetics. <laughs> that, and there's also more to people than actually the, uh, what we call the science of medicine. So everybody's a little bit different. And um, in order to deal with the individual, sure, you need uh, the most modern medical techniques, but you also need to know about the person. I mean, who, who they are, um, what they do, uh, what their aims are, uh, what they're hoping for, what their problems are, um, where they live, what their issues are. Um, and, and in order to be a good doctor, it's much more than the science. Medicine is both a science and an art. And to, to deliver personalized medicine, there's a lot of art. And it should not be, it should not be neglected. So treatment of a patient is very simple, <laughs> basically. You find out what's wrong with them. Two, you figure out what you can do about it. And then three, you figure out what the benefits and risks of each treatment are. And then four, you find out what the patient feels about those and you make a decision. So now what's happened in stroke is we have tools that we never had when I was in training. So after talking with a patient and examining them, we have brain imaging that is very good, that is detailed, that tells if they have a brain infarct or a brain hemorrhage. We have vascular studies that can be done that tells where the blockage is. We have cardiac studies. We have blood studies. So actually, if you go to a place where they have the expertise uh, and they have the personnel, you can find out fairly quickly exactly what's wrong with them. And finding out what's wrong with them, uh, you can learn what the potential treatments are and then what the pluses and minuses of each of those treatments are. So we can do that in centers that have people who've had the experience uh, and also the technology uh, very well that we couldn't do in years past. Now, different people are different. So, um, you know, and some people uh, are not risk takers and would not want to take a treatment that's risky if it could do harm, uh, other people would like to have, you know, every shot they can. Everybody's different. The difficulty is, and I'm going to comment on that in my presentation, um, the difficulty is what it does is it lumps a whole group of people. You have to have enough numbers to have statistical things, and yet you deal with one individual, and sometimes even though something may help a large group of people, it may not be applicable to that individual patient. So that the issue of is it evidence-based, well, sometimes the large evidence shows that aspirin may be good, but it may not be good for that patient who you can't recognize within that group. So that, that's the problem with trials. Um, infrequent things can't be studied in trials and not enough people. In order to make a trial, you have to have homogenized lots of disparate heterogeneous groups and sometimes a treating doctor can recognize his patient, Mr. Jones, in that group. So he has to really, by knowing exactly what's wrong with Mr. Jones, knowing the basic anatomy, pathology, and physiology, and response to treatments, he's in better position to choose treatment for that patient rather than look at these big trials. So I'm not a, I'm not a uh, fan of evidence-based uh, medicine as the only arbiter. That's going to be part of the thing that it's not personalized. It's not, it's neither precise nor personalized.